if you're round and you have a good pull, it's a very easy throw to do. It looks difficult and like you're, it's a strength move. It's not. You're basically bowing them up and then rolling backwards and kicking them on the back end. He said a key word. Stay round. Yeah. Stay round. If, he, I, if I go flat, he's, it's not going to work. I've got a hold of this and drop my elbow to, to trap his hand on the lapel. Okay? And then as I roll back, I'm going to plant my foot here, pull, roll that direction and kick. Okay? Okay, we're going to uh, do really a sumigeishi, a corner counter, you could call it maybe hikomigeishi uh, if you want to from this position, that's fine too. But it's really uh, a great sweep or roll from the bottom, and Derek's going to coach it here. Uh, we're going to show it on two levels, one with Mike's on his knees, uh, you know, in this position, or when Mike stands. So we're going to look at two different levels of this and take away the... Okay, so like with any sumigeishi, my shin is either right up the middle, which is a little bit more effective, or it's on the opposite side that I'm going to roll. So if I'm going to roll him over the shoulder, I'm hooking that leg, almost like the elevator. Okay, but the difference is I'm going to pull him up into the air and roll him over and then kick. The kick comes at the end. Okay, so let this be like a spring. Catch his opposite lapel, pull him down, and grab the belt. Okay? I've got a hold of this and drop my elbow to, to trap his hand on the lapel. Okay? And then as I roll back, I'm going to plant my foot here, pull, roll that direction, and kick. Okay? Now, there will be a natural question well, can he post with his right hand? Let's watch him do this again. Watch what Derek does to prevent Mike from posting his right hand out here. See, and now when he does this, when he starts chopping things in, look at this, his knee's gonna be up here and it's gonna be nice and high and that keeps Mike from pulling it out. If he does, the roll's already happened. Yeah, so my forearm, as soon as I pull them in, I'm down, dropping my elbow so my forearm traps his wrist, then my knee comes up and traps his elbow, okay? This side arm keeps his head down. He might stick it up a little bit. Mike's doing a good job of keeping it down because he doesn't want to face plant when I go through the next part, okay? So push off this foot, pull, roll over the shoulder and kick. See how you roll right over onto him into a very strong yep. pinning controlling position. You should see the leg staying with him as you kick all the way through. Keep a hold of your grip so the back end of the throw, until you get used to it, it pulls you with him. And then, of course, you've got the pin at the very end. Okay? Can you emphasize what you do with your right hand and Georgia grip? Because that, that is a really strong grip there. Okay. I'm going to catch this lapel, and as I pull down, I reach over and I grab the belt and I drop my elbow. Now, did you see real quick? I, I don't want to interrupt you. I know, sorry. But on the same shoulder. Yeah, so I'm, it's like, same side I grab on this side, my hand shoots straight across as I pull in, pull his shoulder or the top of his shoulder into my armpit, grab the belt, drop your elbow, okay? Walk with your knee on this side, foot's planted, okay? And I've got a nice, solid grip to pull, okay? Now we're gonna step it up, literally step it up, where if he stands, if he's, if there's more space between you and your okay. opponent. You want it from, he's up, I'm down, right? Or we're both? Uh, yeah, you're down, he's up. Yeah, yeah. okay, so pop up here. Okay, so he pops up through right here, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull him and grab some belt if I can, and now I'm gonna grab there. So he's usually like trying to work on this leg to pass, so his head isn't straight up. And he's giving me the lapel on this side. So you pull, grab, okay? Plant, pull, hit, in. It's actually easier because he's up higher, so when he rolls over, it's easier to flip him over. But you have to, to get a good pull. So when we're here, he's bent over, okay? He's working a leg or he's trying to get a pass. I'll usually hook 
the inside of this leg to keep some leverage and point my knee out. Pull over out. Over. So that's subigeishi, hikomigeishi from the bottom, whatever you want to call it, but you're rolling them over and staying grounded. 